thinking about us And you know I ain't good at this stuff But these feelings piling up won't give me no rest This might come out a little crazy A little sideways, yeah maybe I don't know how long it'll take me But I'll do my best You be my soft and sweet I'll be your strong and steady You be my glass of wine I'll be your shot of whiskey You be my sunny day It's just a, a testament to our love and our commitment to family, something that you guys instilled in us. Um, and it's so special to hear your guys' words about the wedding day, um, putting this together and looking at the pictures. I really actually wish that we could have been there, the three of us. Um, I wish we could have seen Grandpa walking me down the aisle. And my favorite part, now that I've been a part of weddings a lot, my favorite part of weddings is seeing the groom's look on his face. And I can only imagine Dad's look on his face when he saw you for the first time. So I wish that we had been there, um, but it's so special to hear the words from people that were there. And to have you guys still here in such a big part of our lives is amazing. So we love you, and we'll start thinking tomorrow about what we're doing for you. But that really just leads into how important our family is to us, and I think that we probably took that for granted um, until we were adults, but you know, we had a pretty awesome childhood, and every weekend we would spend this time together, and we would dance, and we would play, and we would eat, and to us it was just like every other Sunday, but now that we're adults, and we know how hard that is, a huge testament to what you guys provided for us as, as children and as families and I hope that you know and that you recognize that that legacy will live on because it has been so important to us and how we've grown up and how we continue to live and it's really amazing to have that kind of heritage of understanding what how important it is to be together and to be a family and what that really means. And I think it's hard. Um, I think nowadays it's really hard to define, but we know what family means, yeah. and we know how important that is. And mom and dad, I just want to say congratulations on your 40th wedding anniversary, and thank you so much for passing along this heritage of family and love. And you just have been such a wonderful example of what a true partnership is. It's not always pretty, and it's not always flashy but it's a real partnership. And you understand what it means when you oh have to person. compromise, and you understand what it means when someone needs more than you need, and what it takes to give that. And you've shown that to us. And, and I hope that you see that that's really translated into how we've built our marriages, and that we really understand the meaning of a true partnership. So thank you for giving us that, and we will cheers to 40 more years. And we love you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. It's very clear to me how privileged our upbringing was. And I think that's particularly impactful coming from parents who had more challenging backgrounds and you have parents who loved you very deeply, but you also have been through a lot of struggles in your upbringing that we were very sheltered from um, and you guys gave us everything. Um, you never missed a single game for cheerleading. Mom, you were the president of everything. <laughs> um, you were the Girl Scout troop leader. You were the PTA president. You were the NCL, like, booster club president. You were the pep squad booster club president. Like, I honestly, as a full-time mother, plus being a working mom and doing what you did at your school, plus taking on all these leadership positions, like, the older that I get, that to me is just... It honestly is like almost like you were like a super human mom. Yep. And honestly, I feel like you were able to do that because of dad. 
and you know dad taking on roles that potentially like traditional dads maybe didn't like dad I remember you so many times like cooking dinner cleaning the house picking us up from games you know coming to things where other dads potentially in traditional roles wouldn't and like for me I think when I look at your marriage that I think for me is the biggest takeaway that the two of you were like really truly 50-50 partners and you didn't always follow those traditional gender lines and because of that I think you were such great role models and you obviously still are for the three of us to be whoever we want to be and for me you know working especially Teach for America and just seeing the impact of kids growing up in broken homes with you know a single mom or a single dad you know I know there were times in your marriage I'm sure it was really challenging you know and maybe you didn't know like is this really what I want and I know you guys fought it out for the good of our family and 40 years is like a crazy long time like I've been married two years <laughs> so like, I'm like by no means an expert <laughs> but like I, I, I understand the fact that like you know like life is hard like you have deaths you have heartbreaks you have health issues you have so many things that are going on and like the two of you made a conscious decision at whatever point that you did that like you were just going to make the best of it like for better or worse like the example we were talking earlier and like the impact that that has had on the three of us for our lives and the trajectory of our lives and what we want to do with our lives is like invaluable and I see that firsthand when I meet other people I work with other people who haven't had that and the way that you've set us up with like our life prospects and the way that I look at my life like I really feel like I can do anything and I can go for anything and I feel like that really is because I have such a solid foundation where I know I have that support and that is like totally from your marriage and like everything that I do in my life is like a hundred percent because of you guys and what you gave me in my education and that confidence as a woman and a female and mom your example like it's really exemplary and like there's not many words for that but you guys should really be so proud we are <laughs> uh, you know what you guys do and like your hard work and like it's not all roses and butterflies and like birds in the morning and 40 years like I can't like I said like I, I can't imagine what the two of you have been through, but like, thank you for sacrificing like everything that you've sacrificed, which I know you've sacrificed. And we're so grateful, and like, I really hope we can be back to you guys in you the have. future and <laughs> make you guys proud and just like reiterate like my gratitude. And DP and I, you know, like, our marriage is really his parents. 35 years and your parents like I just hope to God you know that we can do the same thing and make you guys proud and like we want that because of the example that both of our parents have set and we want the things with our careers and our lives and our families because of guys examples that you've set and you didn't need to choose that path and you didn't so thank you Because it's right